the Turbo Supra! Oh my god! Hey guys, so me and my dad are back. We are just turning on a nameless road up here. Seeing my dad with my head, we're turning right here. Alright, so I don't know if you can see the, the actual street sign or not, but I'll try to let you see it. Nameless road. Literally. Okay, you, hopefully you saw that. But I mean, the road doesn't really go anywhere. But it's just kind of like this neat little back road. Uh, gotta watch out for deer, obviously. But um, so now I got a talk. I got a topic to talk about. I recently had a viewer comment on uh, one of my videos. He said, "Which bike, or how do you compare your new 636 to your F4i that I crashed?" And for y'all that don't know or haven't watched any of my other videos, I had a 2001 CBR 600 F4i that I had before this bike, and I was I had it for about three months, and I was driving uh, down South Austin, and I was driving on kind of a road like this, but the speed limit was higher, and I ended up coming over this coming over this hill and whenever I came over the hill a deer jumped in front of me and I hit the deer sliced the deer in half with my bike uh, flipped the deer up over me like it went up over top of me and I ended up get, getting thrown off my motorcycle I high sided nice Cobra I got thrown off my motorcycle down the street skidded all the way down the street bike was totaled all my gear was totaled so that's what happened to that bike but anyway so you can see videos about my gear and my injuries on my channel if you look down uh, in my older videos but so he asked me which uh, or how do I compare my two bikes and I don't really have an answer however what I can do is say that I can compare them, kind of, but they're completely different bikes. So that's what I meant by that. So I will try my best. The F4i that I had seemed like in first gear, like I think it was because the gearing was different, but in first gear I could get up to a higher speed and I could get up to that speed quicker than I can on this bike. I felt like in first gear, I think I could get up to a 64 miles per hour, and I could do it relatively quickly. And this bike, I can get it up to, I think, I can get it up there, but it takes me a little bit longer, I feel. Maybe I'm just not going all out on my throttle, but I feel like this bike has a much more smooth power band to it. I feel like the power is a lot more evenly distributed throughout the entire RPM range. Especially around 6 to 10, 11,000 RPM, you just get a bunch of power. So I guess it has more mid-range power, whereas the F4i had more mid to high-end power, I guess. I also feel like this bike is lighter than my F4i was. I feel like I can flick it around a little bit easier. I'm not sure if that's just because the, the seating position is a little bit more aggressive or if it really is lighter. I haven't really paid attention to the weight of it. I just know that it feels lighter. And I feel like the seating position, believe it or not, I feel like the seating position of the more aggressive style of this bike is a little bit more comfortable than the F4i was because on the F4i you were sitting a little bit more vertical so you get a little bit more wind into you that you couldn't avoid. This bike, I have this Hot Bodies racing windscreen right here and that's a good and a bad thing. Good thing about that, it looks really cool and it fits the bike really well. Bad thing about that, you can see it directs airflow straight into my chest. So. It is a lot, you get a lot of air resistance at high speeds 
whenever you have this windscreen on here. I feel like if I had a double bubble windscreen on here from, uh, I forget who makes those, who makes those? Uh, zero gravity. If you get a zero gravity double bubble windscreen, I feel like this bike would be just like outstanding because I feel like it would direct the airflow over your head a little bit more than this one does. I mean, you can still get down. Like if you, if you want to get down like this, you know, you can get down there and it's not that hard of a thing to do because of the more aggressive riding position. And then once you're down there, then the air flows over your head a little bit easier, obviously. However, if you're doing that for a long period of time, obviously it hurts your back. This bike has a slightly larger gas tank, I believe. I could be wrong on that, but I never really paid attention to my old one. <laughs> this bike certainly gets a lot more looks than my F4i did. And partially that's because of the color of it, Cowie Green. It gets a lot more looks, uh, sounds a lot better. I have a Yoshimura RS5 exhaust on here. My CBR, I had a Yoshimura RS3 exhaust on it, but I only had it on there for two days before I crashed my bike. So I can't really have that much to compare to it, but well, in the time that I actually had that bike with the exhaust on it, it still didn't get as much looks as this bike does. And I feel like this bike also gets a lot more people that want to race me. But then again, that goes in the same kind of category. And so, I mean, I'll try to give you some, I just realized I'm not really moving my head too much. I'll try to give you some uh, scenery here while I do this. It's a nice house. I never noticed that before. Huh. And so, I don't know, like, I mean, they're, they're two completely different bikes, but if you had to get one of these two bikes, you would just have to go out and try it out. I mean, that's, that's all I have to say. However, if you ask me, like, straight up my opinion, I would get this bike. Simply because I just feel like it's a little bit more fun. It has a little bit of upgraded stuff, you know, it has, like, the digital tachometer down there which is kind of cool. Some people like it, some people hate it. So, I mean, you, you kind of win-lose either way. It depends on just what your views on it are. I, I can't really tell you what bike to get. I can't tell you what bike not to get. It all depends on your preferences. You know, you might like something that I hate. You might hate something that I love. So, it, it's all personal preference. So, yeah, if you guys have any comments you want to leave down there about what you want me to talk about if you guys have any questions for me about my bike my past bike my experience or anything like that feel free to ask i will always try to answer to the best of my ability and i will i've said this a few times already but you know my channel's still just starting out so i put out new videos every day or every other day so keep an eye out for them i basically shoot all my videos at one time and then upload one each day during the week <coughs> so yeah so if you guys would uh give this video a like it would help me out uh share it comment anything you want to you know comment on it that's that would help me out greatly so thank you guys for watching i really appreciate it feel free to subscribe I hope you liked this video, and I hope it was entertaining and knowledgeable for some of you. So I will catch you guys later, and I hope you all have a great day. Bye.